Hello everybody, so today we're gonna see uh, how we can get specific information from our uh, database using view set and the serializer. Okay, as you remember the last tutorial, we were able to get using the view set and serializer all the data. <coughs> sorry from our that we we stored in our database or model okay so what if i want to get some specific data what i mean is what if i want to get only the bmw cars okay or the specs for the the, the bmw uh, 740i only okay how can we do that Okay, so do, to do that, we need to rewrite uh, something called uh, view set actions. Okay, and view set actions, as we see in the in the documentation of Django REST framework, for the view set there is there's multiple actions. There's list which return all the data that that you have in in your you know in the on the model or database. Uh, create it's like when you do some when you do a post request to create a new object retrieve okay you use it to we use it to retrieve data from our uh, from our uh, model which we're going to use today to retrieve specific data from our database update is when you do a put request okay so to update some specific data inside um, and destroy to delete uh virtual update virtual update uh, i'm not sure what's that I, mean, I need to check it okay so let's go ahead and and rewrite or overwrite i mean the retrieve function to do uh or to get some specific data from our model okay let's head back to our views okay so how we overwrite that we need to write diff the name of the action which is retrieve and that this takes some arguments like self request args <coughs> sorry and quarks okay So in order to get specific data from our database, we need to use something called filter, okay? So we need to filter database according to a parameter, okay, or variable. And we need to achieve that by sending this parameter through our URL. I mean, if I come here and I write here uh, the, the basic or the main URL and I write beside to at BMW I need to be able to get obviously the server is, is is off now it's not on I need to be able to get only the BMW cars okay so how we can achieve that first let's see how can we get this okay characters from our URL URL inside our view you remember when we used the the, the function based view we use something called request.query params uh, to get this okay there's a different and easier way here so we don't have to add a question mark put the name of the variable and then put the value of it uh, here it's 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 simpler than that okay we need to use the um, argument here quarks to get the parameters from the URL okay so let's assign those parameters to a variable called params called params equal uh, quarks okay and let's print those params to be able to see how how in which format we're getting them and let's return we have to return something so let's, let's return an empty response for now okay 
and let's save that and go run our server okay how we run the server let's clear that uh, let's activate our virtual environment and let's navigate to our project my API and run the server so after we run the server let's go do a get request in our so now we're getting all the the cars that we have let's add some parameters here or something let's try it bmw and we need to see how we can get it in our view okay so it's telling me here there's nothing it returned nothing which we asked the, the view to do that to return nothing let's go check up here if you look here in the terminal you can see that we got something like a dictionary okay it's a dictionary it's telling us Oh, I received something parameters from the URL and the key for that parameter is, is PK and the parameter value is PMW BMW so let's use that how we can get the BMW from this dictionary okay if we do this here we give it the key which is PK and we save Okay, and let's go do another request here. We refresh, and we come back. We can see there's BMW here. The BMW here, we need we need to use it to filter the database from uh, from our model. Okay, so let's create a variable. <coughs> okay called cars here okay equal we need to start with the name of the model that we need to get the data or filter the data from okay what's the name of the model is car specs okay car specs dot objects dot here we need to use something called filter okay so we do filter we open parentheses and inside filter we need to tell we need to filter according to which field which field in our model if we go here okay we need to filter according to the car brand car model production year can use any field here okay we need to filter according to car brand okay so we come back here we put car brand equal okay uh, the parent okay variable the pk which will return the value uh, this value here as we saw uh, previously so this will give us the objects that's in inside our model filtered by the value that we sent uh, through our URL. Okay, now we need to serialize this data before sending it. Okay, how we do that? We just go serializer. Okay. Equal our serializer that we defined here which is the car spec serializer okay and inside the serializer we tell it which data data we need to serialize we need to serialize cars okay and if we know that we have uh, multiple cars with the same brand okay like we have many BMWs many Mercedes we need to add something here uh, many 
as an argument and equal to true okay that tells the serializer that okay you have many objects for this filtering okay and now we need to return a response which is the serializer okay we got here an a serializer dot data okay so we're turning the data from this uh, serializer so I think that's it guys for now I think we should go in and and try it now okay let's save this file wait for the server to run again and then go to to our uh, browser and refresh this page and see what we get and here we go guys you see you remember first without this without putting a BMW we we got like all the cars that we added to our database including the BMW Mercedes BMW so we have two BMWs here okay and when we wanted to filter okay and added the BMW to our endpoint or else we got back only the BMW cars okay so what if I want another car for example let's get the Ford okay so I just want to make sure I spell it right okay Ford and I got back the Ford okay the same thing guys the same method you can use to filter by model for example if you want to get car model okay uh, by production year okay by car body it's like you're filtering uh, all your database and picking up the specific detail uh, that you're looking for uh, and this is a common thing if you see if you go to car sites they give you an option or to pick up by year by model by engine type okay all that so you can filter through their database and see which cars are available for you okay or sometimes per price okay so that's it guys for this tutorial and thank you for your time